Welcome back to Sky News. Some breaking news. Penny Mordaunt uh, is running to be the next Prime Minister of the United uh, Kingdom. She's just tweeted uh, less than a minute ago saying, I've been encouraged by support from colleagues who want a fresh start, a united party and leadership in the national interest. I'm running to be the leader of the Conservative Party and your Prime Minister to unite our country, deliver our pledges and win the next general election. Hashtag PM for PM. Uh, bringing back that uh, catchy hashtag from earlier in the summer. Of course, she ran earlier in the summer, came third uh, behind uh, Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss, uh, and, of course, therefore didn't end up facing uh, the party membership portion of the leadership um, race. Uh, and uh, she's uh, clearly announcing her, her leadership ahead of the other suspected frontrunners, not that Rishi Sunak or Boris Johnson... Uh, won't soon announce, but uh, is the first one uh, of those three favourites, if you look at the betting markets, uh, or the three favourites, if you look at public declarations of MPs supporting them, uh, they have the most support so far. Penny Mordaunt uh, coming about third in that list of public uh, displays of supports in the, in the mid to high teens of MPs uh, who've come out to back her so far, whereas uh, Rishi Sunak uh, has over 50 MPs so far publicly supporting Boris Johnson uh, somewhere uh, in between. A reminder, of course, of the process from here by 2 p.m. on Monday, uh, all of the 360 uh, Tory MPs will have had to uh, back uh, one of the candidates that they want to go forward. You need 100 uh, to get uh, over the line uh, from the first stage. Uh, and, of course, uh, 360 or so MPs about there. There won't be more than three, a maximum of three, and it seems like the three most likely, based on public declarations so far, will be Penny Mordaunt, Rishi Sunak and Boris uh, Johnson. And a reminder that Penny Mordaunt, uh, now the first of those three frontrunners to publicly declare she will be running, uh, saying she's been encouraged to do so from support of her colleagues who want a fresh start, a united party and leadership in the national interest.